Hey guys, Dr. Rax here. Today I'm gonna to be talking about how to dramatically decrease your risk of cancer. And this is a topic that's dear to my heart, having a mom who's had cancer twice. And it's essential for you because today 700,000 Americans die from cancer every year. It's one of the top two killers in all of America. And so the, knowing these principles could save your life and save your family's life. So the first thing we gotta know is what causes cancer? Two things cause cancer. Let's look at this. So we'll draw up cancer here. Okay, cancer is caused by, one thing is deficiencies. So if your body doesn't have enough vitamins, minerals, nutrients, that will cause cancer. So it can be caused by actual nutritional deficiencies. The other thing that can cause cancer is toxicity. So deficiency and toxicity cause cancer. Let's talk about how to get less toxins in your body and talk about what toxins are first. So some of the most common toxins today are heavy metals, okay? Heavy metals are full of toxins, and actually they're toxins themselves, so things like mercury, arsenic, lead, full of toxins. Number two thing could be environmental toxins. I'll just put E here, toxins, so environmental toxins. Number three, I'm gonna write personal care products, okay? So personal care products, maybe the shampoo you have at home, the deodorant you're using, the different sort of moisturizers, these things all cause cancer. Number four is gonna be pesticides, hormones, antibiotics, a lot of those toxins you'll put in your food. Number five is gonna be fake food. Foods that aren't even real um, will cause toxicity in your body. And, and so now we're gonna go into deficiencies and I'm gonna show you on a cellular level what this looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and step over here now and show you what this looks like. Okay, when we're looking at deficiencies and toxicities here, okay, going over deficiencies, top deficiencies are vitamins and minerals, okay? If you don't have enough vitamins and minerals, that can cause cancer. Number two, antioxidants. Antioxidants are essential in decreasing your risk of cancer. And number three here is gonna be not having enough good, healthy fat in your body, okay? These things are all essential for decreasing your risk of cancer. Let me show you on a cellular level what happens with a cancer cell and how a cell becomes cancerous. So right here, we have your cell, okay? And your body is made up of over 75 trillion cells and every cell you have in your body has four oxygen receptor sites. And so your body should come on here and should actually bring in oxygen. Okay, and so we see that here, all four areas, four oxygen receptor sites, all your cells run off oxygen. Now, Otto Warburg, a two-time Nobel Prize winner, has said that the cause of cancer is known, the cause of cancer is when a cell is deprived of 60% of its oxygen intake. And so if you don't have enough oxygen, your cells suffocate and become cancerous. Now here's how your body starts to lose oxygen. One thing could be happening if you have too many toxins in your body, like let's say for instance you're drinking a lot of Splenda, also known as aspartame, which breaks down into chlorine in your body. And so, I'm sorry, Splenda, known as sucralose. What'll happen is chlorine takes the place of an oxygen receptor site. So now your cell here is deprived of 40% of its oxygen intake. Another way that your body can start to become cancerous is actually every cell in your body here um, is made up of um, fat. It has what's called a lipid bilayer. And so these cells here, let's say if all these cells are made up of bad fats, let's say margarine, hydrogenated oils, trans fats, that actually doesn't allow things to get in and out of your cell, causing cell congestion. And another thing we just talked about here would be toxins like pesticides and heavy metals. They will come around here and they will put actually a coating, I'll change the color here to show this, they will put a coating on the outside of your cells blocking your body here from actually being able to get enough oxygen. Now we have 50% of the oxygen intake, uh, intake uh, de decreased. Same thing, let's say you continue to eat bad fats, don't get an, or eating too many toxins, more chlorine there, your cell suffocates. In order to survive, your cell changes. And so we'll flip over here. And so now your cell actually becomes cancerous by changing what it feeds off of. Cancer cells feed off of sugar and it feeds off of a process known as fermentation. So this here is what happens in a cancer cell. A cell can transfer based on its DNA and grow out new receptor sites. It'll grow out eight receptor sites here and those receptor sites are for sugar or glucose. And so we'll just write that up here, sugar. 
And that's what a cancer cell feeds off of is sugar. So it starts feeding off sugar and then these cancer cells can replicate. That's how a cell becomes cancerous. Now let's talk about how to prevent cancer. Okay. Now we talked about things to prevent cancer, vitamins and minerals, antioxidants, healthy fats, help your, help reduce your risk of cancer. Here's how this works. If you're getting healthy fats in your diet, we know that, again, we can actually write this up here. We know that we're building new and healthy cells. So your body's building new and healthy cells. And when you have healthy fats, things can get in your cell. Things can get out of your cell. Your cell can start breathing again. When you're actually exercising, another thing I didn't put up here, when you're exercising, your body is able to bring in, you have an abundance and more of oxygen. That's going to help you prevent cancer. And then vitamins, minerals, and specifically antioxidants. Vitamins and minerals help run your cell. They'll help detox things out of your cell, bring healthy nutrients in. And then antioxidants, let's say you are bringing toxins into your body. Let's say you are bringing in things like the chlorine or heavy metals like mercury. What antioxidants do, they protect your cells against free radical damage. So let's say this chlorine is trying to come over here and attach onto that cell. What happens is the antioxidants will come over and gobble up and eat up these bad, actually hydrogen ions, but they will protect your cell against that free radical damage. I know it made a little bit of a mess up here, but if you understand this key principle when it comes to reducing your risk of cancer, you want to do two action steps here. Number one, you want to decrease your toxicities. Let's go through these steps here. Decreasing toxicities, get rid of the heavy metals. Silver fillings in your mouth contain a lot of mercury. A lot of our actually vaccines today contain a lot of heavy metals. You want to get those out. Uh, environmental toxins, specifically like pesticides. You want to start eating organic foods. Also personal care products. You want to look at your shampoos. You want to look for toxins, things like parabens. Uh, toxins that are in, or aluminum that are in your deodorant. Get rid of the toxic uh, personal care products. And then next step here, deficiencies. You want to take care of all your deficiencies. You want to eat a nutrient-dense diet. Here are the top five foods you can eat to build up your nutrients. Number one is vegetables. They're the most nutrient-dense food. Number two is fruit, specifically berries. Number three, beans. Number four, nuts and seeds. Number five, organic meats. You start loading up the nutrients in your body. That's going to help your body prevent cancer, going to help your body get healthy and well. Thanks so much. You've been listening to Dr. Josh Axe.